Hello, um, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another book review. I realise it's been about eight weeks. Ooh, that is quite a long time. It's been about eight weeks since I last uploaded a book review and in that time I've been trying to read The Beast That Is Becoming by Michelle Obama. Um, I think the fact that it's taken me about two months to read this book probably says a lot in itself. This is definitely not my usual type of book, but I heard so many people talking about it. I had to read it, I had to see what the fuss was about. I went on a real journey with this book. I really, really loved the start. I loved learning about Michelle Obama's home life, her childhood, how she was brought up, how close her family were. I could totally relate to that side of it. Also, it was a really nice part to read. It was very heartwarming. But equally, there were parts that I found quite hard to read in the first section. So all around sort of discrimination, racism. It really brought home how many dreams and aspirations of normal, everyday people are taken away just because of the colour of their skin. And obviously this is still happening now, which blows my mind. And then we got about halfway through the book and I must admit, I really started to struggle with it. I didn't find myself wanting to pick it up. I was very tempted to think, do you know what? It's not worth it. I'm just gonna read something that I really enjoy. The main problem I had halfway through was relating to Michelle Obama. She was very goody two shoes, which was the problem I had with the main character in the last book review. Um, I just felt as though she was too perfect, but I am really glad I stuck with it because once I came out of that little hole of feeling like, God, I just want to give up on this. Then she really showed a superhuman side, admitting that she wasn't sure that she wanted Barack Obama to run for presidency. And all of a sudden, I warmed to her. So it was then at that point that I started to feel my unwavering positive view of Barack, 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 anyway, of him. Um, it was then that that started to sort of waver a little bit and I thought, hmm, hang on a minute, he is very much, I mean, it's weird to say, isn't it? But in a, in a way, although he's putting himself forward for presidency so that he can look after millions of Americans and try and do what he, think is, what he thinks is the best for them, he's kind of also putting himself first because that's what he wants to do. And he's putting his wife aside, he's putting his two children aside in order to follow his dream. And in him following his dream, his wife then had to sort of leave her dream, her career, what she wanted for them as a family, to support him. And I realised that this may be quite controversial in saying this. Obviously the book ends um, when Obama's presidency or time in office ends and Trump is sworn in. This part of the book is very short and I can't say sweet because it's not sweet, but it's very fair. So I applaud the fact that Michelle didn't smile at Trump's inauguration because basically he is against everything that the Obamas stood for. So again, that was another thing that did warm me to her. It's quite a journey. I feel like I went through quite a roller coaster in how I felt towards Michelle and Barack. I'm glad I persevered with the book and I especially loved the insight into their home life in the White House. That is so interesting. I was kind of left wanting to know how their life is after the White House, after being president, because I don't think you can ever go back to a normal life. I'd love for Michelle to do a follow-up book. After really struggling with the book and thinking halfway through that I'm gonna to have to give up on it, I actually am left wanting more. So there we go. It's a bit of a difficult one to rate. I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10 only because I went on such a roller coaster with it. After that complete roller coaster of a book, I felt something that I wanted to kind of just escape with. Um, I've got a holiday coming up. Um, actually, by the time this goes up, I probably would have been on holiday. I wanted something that I could really get my teeth into, that I could escape with. Um, so I am going to be reading another Leanne Moriarty book, which after Nine Perfect Strangers, I have high hopes. 
I feel like I say that every time, but I guess I wouldn't probably pick up a book unless I thought, oh, I'm gonna enjoy this or this is gonna be pretty good. Leanne Moriarty, What Alice Forgot. So um, if you're keen to see what I think of that, please subscribe below, just press that little red button. Uh, and if you did enjoy this speedy book review, which I'm hoping it's a speedy book review, uh, please give it the thumbs up below. And I would absolutely love to know if you have read this book, what were your thoughts on it? Did you go through that same kind of roller coaster of how you felt towards Michelle and how you felt towards Barack? Or was that just me? Probably just me. Um, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye.